Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm UV. I'm a food and travel content creator for the last three years and I post new video every weekend. So in this video, I'm taking you to five new Indian restaurants in Perth that you should check it out in 2024. So let's go. The first spot on the list is the place with probably the best Indian meal deal at the moment in Perth. For just $29.99, you can get here a full Indian buffet dinner including snacks and desserts. This is none other than Nunu's Cafe that is located in Belmont. They have a beautiful interior and they are very famous for their high tea and therefore have recently started this Indian meal deal for their buffet. The restaurant has different menu for this buffet for different times but the day when we dined in our menu included samosa onion bhaji fish pakora for starters yogurt navratan korma paneer and butter chicken for mains and then gulab jamun for desserts there was so much food and everything was absolutely delicious you can see that once i started my plate looks absolutely full and you bet that I left with a very full stomach and a very happy heart. So I think for both vegetarians and non-vegetarians, including families with kids, this is an absolutely perfect spot to have a good weekday or weekend dinner at a reasonable price. You have to check this place out. The second spot on the list is one of the newcomers here in Perth in the Indian food community. It's the Stonewater restaurant located in Mount Pleasant. It's also probably the prettiest and the most luxurious looking Indian restaurant that you have in town. They have a beautiful bar and have a really good menu. For starters, we had this samosa chaat which looked beautiful and also tasted pretty good. For our non-vegetarian friends, they had some really good options like this chicken dish that was topped up with peas and this fish cakes which really looked pretty and nicely plated and the crowd favourite was this chicken tikka masala which uh, I think tasted as good as it looked. For my vegetarian mains, I really enjoyed this paneer butter masala and a yellow dal tadka with garlic naan. It was delicious. I think this is a great restaurant if you are looking for a birthday party or any occasions to have with your friends and family. It's a really pretty restaurant. The next spot on the list is one of my local favourites and a place that I have been to multiple times in the last two years since I've moved to Perth. This is a place called Sankalp Indian Restaurant located in Westminster. It's also a place with probably the longest menu among mm -hmm. Indian restaurants in town. With so many options that would cater people with all kinds of dietary requirements, this is a great place to take your Indian and non-Indian friends to have some gala time. For this visit, we started our meal with some delicious pani puri. They were perfect, so crunchy, coupled with tangy water and then we are on to our mains the highlight of which was this absolutely authentic Hyderabadi style dum biryani look at how nicely it is it was perfect and then for desserts since it's winters this was our kajar halwa but my favorite of the lot was this sizzling brownie with vanilla so if that's your jam, this was one of the best desserts I've had in Indian restaurants in Perth. It's absolutely worth the extra calories. The next Indian restaurant on the list is another Indian restaurant that's called The Two Fat Uncles and is located in Cottesloe. We started our meal with some absolutely delicious entree. The crowd favorite there was this absolutely sizzling starter, which is as the name suggests, a sizzler. It's absolutely amazing chicken tikka, but we also had a vegetarian paneer version of it. The drinks here, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, were also amazing. For our mains, we tried some kofta, lamb vindaloo, biryani, paneer butter masala, some dal, 
palak paneer it was so many options and then we finished the night with some absolutely amazing looking desserts my favorite was this crunchy rasmalai which was so soft and smooth and of course this hearty gulab jamun which was so soft Our final spot for today's video is another very new Indian restaurant in Perth and is called The Indian Diet located in Claremont. They also have a really good selection for entree mains and desserts. For us we started with some dahi puri which I absolutely enjoyed. The next one was some papadams and also some pani puri. They have two different flavors for waters for the pani puri and I enjoyed the tangy spicy one the most but if you have kids you probably go with the sweeter one. For mains we tried both vegetarian and non-vegetarian options. The presentation as you can see was top notch and the best part was this tiny little cooker in which they presented their paneer butter masala. My husband really loved his lamb, chicken and some goat options. This paneer curry which I really liked was also really good. The malai kofta was as the name suggests really soft and moist and full of flavor. We ended the night with what i think is pretty much the best kulfi you can get in perth this was the malai kulfi which was absolutely delicious believe me when i say this was the best one that i've had in a long time i hope you guys have enjoyed these food recommendations please don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video bye